this is group 12 here, question 7 of the evaluation. What do we think we learnt uh, from our first task, which is Wilderness Woods, then through to our preliminary task, and finally our horrible opening. So the brief for the Wilderness Woods task was essentially there was a location recce and a short film with the brief there's something in the woods. The second task we looked at was the preliminary task um, in which it was a bit more detailed brief um, but it was essentially a conversation um, with a door opening and therefore we had to try and edit a continuous sequence. And then our final task was obviously the two minute horror film opening um, and that was all the brief we were doing. So the narrative uh, of all our films. The, uh, the first one was pretty simple, as Dan has already touched upon, uh, just, there's something in the woods. Uh, a protagonist was filmed as though he, was, he sort of felt like he was being followed or something like that, and in the end he died. A premier task was very different in that respect, in that it was just a conversation between two people. In terms of filming um, techniques and technology, um, we used track in all of the films, but it was quite difficult to get used to and master in the preliminary task um, when the uh, protagonist is walking along the corridor. Uh, so it was really useful to practice that. Uh, Post-production, in terms of this, Wilderness Woods, we, it was just titles. Um, then progression from that onto the preliminary task was exactly the same, but this time the titles sort of integrated into the footage as along the wall. Uh, so that's quite, we're quite proud of that, to be honest. Then the massive leap into uh, the horror opening, which Dan used After Effects to produce a very, very professional look in which the text stuck to the trees. Um, mise en scène, um, location as so said before, is very similar to that of the Wilderness Woods task, uh, which is quite useful in some ways because we could get used to it and we knew that um, continuity would be a lot easier. Um, in something like a wooded area rather than something interior like the preliminary task uh, where it's very easy to tell whether things are different or the lighting is different. Costume, we decided to pay more attention to this uh, because obviously there was less planning in the preliminary task and the uh, Wilderness Woods task. The antagonist wore all black while the protagonist wore very bright colours. Uh, it was the first use of proper props in the final film. Um, the preliminary task only had one prop, which was the uh, sound box. There was more opportunity to build up characters than before in the final film. Uh, we didn't use a script, but um, there was no one to talk to, which was the main thing about that. But um, we did have more time to explore the characters. Um, soundtrack. But there was definitely music in the background building up to the climax of it all. Um, that was more sound effects that we used. Got some from um, freesound.com. We did use a proper soundtrack at the beginning, which is very dramatic. And thirdly, for our horror opening, that the soundtrack was very important, uh, we considered, because in terms of what we came up with in the first place, it was all centered around the soundtrack and intercutting actions on screen with the parts of the sound. Um, it juxtaposed quite well um, with the rest of the plot, um, but definitely we realised from the prelim and Wilderness Woods that it was very important to have a soundtrack. Um, camera and editing, um, we found that reveals were very powerful, for example in Wilderness Woods where the antagonist just revealed when the protagonist moves away, um, and we realised that that was quite uh, an interesting way of doing it and was built up a lot more tension and uh, surprise on the part of the viewer. Unfortunately, we couldn't actually do that in the proper horror opening. Yeah. The location wasn't really suited to that. But. So we did very similar things, um, for example, with the over-shoulder shot or the pan down to reveal the tennis ball. But we really enjoyed using rule of thirds, um, and that was a really interesting way of framing the shot, and uh, it made it look a lot more professional. In fact, I think we used that rule in every single mm. piece of video yeah. we did. We, uh, continuity was a big thing in films. Uh, we broke continuity quite a few times in the Wilderness Woods task because we were still uh, concentrating on getting interesting shots rather than... And uh, the timeline we had was very short, one day. Yeah. And in terms of editing as well, um, just about the software, we used Adobe Premiere Elements in every single sort of piece of filming and the difference from the first one to this one is quite, quite a big one. Um, we've learned a lot about the, the editing software as well in terms of titles that we've already said, but yeah. I think, in on reflection, the biggest thing we've learned about is different 
aspects of what is in the camera and how to use it mm. in terms of shots, professional shots, those sort of things, I think. Okay.